Hey everyone, I'm Taylor. We're here at the Greener Planet office in the Switch Innovation Center. We've been growing some awesome hydroponics produce and today we're going to show you a few tips and tricks on how to harvest. So before we get started, we got a few things here. I've got my trusty pair of scissors. I've got a plastic bag and my marketing sticker for a packaged product. I've got a bowl of ice water and an empty bowl here. A couple of paper towels as well, and a dry sanitary dishcloth. So we're gonna show you a couple different methods on how to harvest. The first one, which is a cool thing we can do with hydroponics, is that we can harvest our whole plant. So we've got two different styles of system here. We're gonna show you real quick how to do each one. One thing you might notice uh, in the grocery store these days is you can buy live plants where the roots are still attached and in a hydroponic system we can do that very thing so for harvesting this if I'm gonna sell and package say at a market or something and I want to sell a live plant I want to keep my cup here so I'm gonna pop my roots off of that this I'll clean with a little rubbing alcohol later on sanitize it and be able to reuse it uh, whenever I harvest produce, the first thing I do to keep it fresh longer and keep the colors nice and bright is that I plunge it into ice water. I'll then kind of pat that dry a little bit with my towel. You don't want too much water on your lettuce or vegetables as they come out of here. I'm going to get my towel a little bit wet and for this one, I'm gonna package, say, for like selling at a farmer's market or something. So I'm gonna put this moist rag in the bottom here. And I'll kind of open that up to where I can put the roots of my living produce in that moist paper towel. Likewise, I could come to this vertical type system and I'd be able to do the same thing for this system we could either remove the whole tower and open everything up or for this one we can actually just grab from the roots in there pull everything out and it'll be the same strategy we're gonna dunk that in the ice bath Add it a little bit dry. We will put this into our towel there so the roots can stay alive a little longer. I'm going to clean my package and place my logo or my farm logo on there. Uh, this we can zip up, but you don't ever want to close this all the way. You want the plant to still be able to breathe. So this I can either place right in a vessel for sale, or if I'm going to wait and sell it later, I'm going to put in this bowl and get them in the refrigerator as soon as possible. For the next harvest strategy we're going to show you is just a simple whole harvest. For this strategy, you'll likely want to have a new seedling sprouted ready to replace the plant you're going to harvest. This is really simple. You find a nice looking head of lettuce that you'd like to sell in your market and you can either take this out of the system or you can leave it right in there but we're just simply going to cut this off right at the base so that we still have a nice full head of lettuce. Same steps as before, we're going to plunge this in our ice bath, help preserve color, freshness. I'll shake that dry a little bit. And then we can either package this for sale, we can chop it up, wash it, and eat it right away. Or if we're going to save it for later, we want to get it in the refrigerator as quickly as possible. And for our vertical farm wall, we use the same strategy. We're going to come in here and we'll pick out a nice full head of lettuce. We'll find the base of that produce 
and we'll clip that right off the tower. Any damage or bad looking leaves will take off. And then we plunge that into our ice bath. Shake it a little dry, pat it down. And we're ready to store or package, depending on how we're gonna use that produce. All right, and the third strategy we're gonna show you is uh, how to cut and regrow plants. Certain times you wouldn't want to do that. You can see these lettuce, we've actually been cutting and regrowing for a week or two now. They're starting to get long stems, and at this point we wouldn't want to cut and regrow that anymore. We're going to just harvest that whole plant this afternoon. On my kale here, we still can uh, cut and regrow. So what we're going to look for here is, especially in this situation where your plants are getting real close to the light, uh, we're going to just go in here close to the base, start removing stems. And what we want to do is we want to take all of these except for the few that are right at the heart of that plant. Oops. So we trim that kale back to where it's got just a couple of leaves left or actually this plant we can leave in the system and allow it to regrow. Usually when you harvest this way, you wouldn't want package for sale. This is something you do when you're gonna eat your produce right away. So you can, ice, you can give it the ice bath, um, but I, more than likely you're gonna wash this, chop it up, and eat it right now. For a lot of herbs, we will use the cut and regrow method. Uh, here we have nasturtium. Uh, what we're going to do is just choose a point right above a node where two new branches are coming out. And you can kind of see here we've got the plant branching each way. We're going to just cut that right at the node there. And then we can harvest whatever portion we want to use or package or dry. And then the rest we can let it continue to regrow. You can use the same strategy for like basil, mint, and a whole lot of different types of herbs. For produce growing in a hydroponics using net cups, we can also use the cut and regrow method. Um, we'll just select a plant, and normally what we'll do is just take these larger leaves that are around the bottom, and we'll clip these off. And we're gonna leave just a few in the center so that our plant can still photosynthesize, create energy, and then regrow a new set of leaves. Usually you can cut and regrow plant about three, three or four times. Uh, then the flavor gets kind of bitter and you really wouldn't want to keep harvesting it beyond that.